Hi, I'm Eric D'Amato. Happy Halloween and welcome back to Let's Play Vampire the Masquerade Redemption. Anyway, I, I went back and got the uh, Ankern Sword. It was found in the uh, Teutonic Knight base. It's in that big room that has the big mural of the Ankern Sword in it. And, uh... And Kristoff goes all like, What I... What do these dire omens portend? And I was stupid. A sling that hurls deadly stone. And didn't pick it up. It is simple to use, yet murderous beyond measure. I see that man has not rested in his quest to create ever more powerful weapons. Yeah, we're probably not going to use guns much as a uh, as old Kristoff. Drink some blood. Ah, refreshing. So yeah, we're in the modern nights now, 1999. Let's check out the journal entry. From the journal of Father Leo Wallacious, Society of Leopold. Joy! My research has paid off. The fools who laughed at me won't be laughing now. Won't the leaders of the Society of Leopold be chastened to learn that I have uncovered the location of Visserad Castle? Probably they will. Maybe not. Who knows? Or... Where am I? What sorcerer's abode is this? Aneska. Who is that? A vampire! Kill him! Back off, bloodsucker! I'm sending you to hell! You have a stake. All that can do is paralyze me, dude. Oh, he came away with an aluminum baseball bat? He was gonna kiss me upside the cranium with an aluminum baseball bat? That's adorable. Using blood weapons against a vampire. You're so fucking cute. Ooh, put locker. Lead pipe. Swords are the way to go for Kristoff because... People have Kevlar vests, it's gonna make guns less effective. People don't really have anything that can stop a fucking sword, apparently, in uh in the modern day in modern day London. You feel your unlike music away. Journal in tree, August 1999. The Prague excavation is finally on schedule. The kindred resting places have finally yielded up their secrets. We've gotten the crates of Earth to London without trouble and customs. Dr. Alasius is finally pleased with us, after giving us hell for two years. Um, I'm amazed Kristoff can use a computer. Let's try the gun. Oops, sit there from now, maybe. The abyss with me. Brass knuckles. Also adorable. Oh, your money. How does Kristoff know that this that these pieces of paper are important? Bag. Going all day of the dead on this guy. Die, 
my filthy feet! Die, vampire! Die! And that's all the bullets. Good. You're wasting your time trying to fight me, dude. Boom, and now you're a mess of blood. Just a clip. Die, light. Compound bow. Fucking awesome. With a ring. Come here! Oh, that's a flamethrower. To the abyss with me. Like I'm, I'm amazed. I couldn't find the, didn't find the anger and sword before. It was right in front of me. But I'm glad I have it now because that thing is fucking cool. Or that's what happens when you fight vampires. You get bit. going on. You know, these games, neither game has gotten doors to work. Sap gloves are a punching thing. Ooh, you have a shotgun. Can I have it? No, a gold ring? I'll take that. To the abyss with thee. It is amazing how unprepared these fuckers are for a vampire. Like, seriously, aluminum baseball bats. Stakes? Okay, I get the stakes given what um, what the society wants to do, so okay, the stakes are fair enough, but you don't really want to enter open combat with a vampire with just a stake in your hand, because you have to get them directly in the heart to paralyze them with that in, uh, in, in World of Darkness rules. Like, a stake you'd use with, um... Like a stealth attack, like a backstab or something. Ooh, doors are locked. I find a key. Find a key. Or do the switch. Journal entry, October 1999. Ooh, We've been driven off the dig. Damn Zemitsi. We've lost half our forces. Back to England to regroup. Still, Dr. Alatius is oddly optimistic. 
He reckons that the ancient vampire we found will be the key to carrying on a holy crusade. I want to douse the undead wretch with petrol and strike a match to it. But the doctor knows best. I'm glad they didn't uh, douse me with petrol and strike a match to me, personally. Though, frankly, they probably should have, considering that we are running roughshod over the society of Leopold. Look how all the world hath aged, and I have aged too. I feel old and drained, and weathered as all these relics. We are a relic now. But some of this stuff is a bit before your time, old Kristoff. <laughs> also, I like the kind of tattered look. Wish we could keep our armor and have like a... Eh. But I guess this works better. The, the flow in the tattered cape is really cool. So there's no reason the heavy armor can't have the cape, but that's how they designed it. Did not have a cape. any value in those cages for me. So it's going to be a bitch getting in and out of there. <laughs> oh. Journal entry October 9th. Journal entry October 1990. Yeah, we already read that. I hope they know that they're in their exterminate vampire plan. What they've ended up doing is released an unimaginably powerful vampire onto an unexpecting world. You know, it should probably be a, an indication that you're not doing your job well if the guy you're shooting is ignoring you. And for his sake, I should keep ignoring him, because if I ever, if I turn my attention to him, he is a dead man. I cannot deal with my speed. Yeah. Also, we're going through the uh, the Templar basic to not ignite base again. I found myself um, these um, thaumaturgy blood rituals book. Which gives me the ice spell and the lightning spell and all that fun shit. Here's an interesting point. Um, I am weak of lack of pressure. Oh, yeah, shit, we are. <laughs> Who's 
The celerity, use, using the celerity to rush out of someone to feed is... I love that. that. That's fucking vampire horror movie shit. I love it. It's great. It's like Van Helsing. I don't care what anyone says. I love the movie Van Helsing. I love the game, too. Uh. Man, he's still at 75. Thank you, little metal cardboard box. Ah, there you are. Ah, <laughs> oh, okay. Stuck in the wall for a second there. Shooting range? Huh. Ah! Nothing here seems all that important. Society of Leopold. Today, plunged into Visserard Castle with three fire teams of expensive mercenaries, fully expecting to find a hive of Zimitsi cultists. Imagine our surprise when we found the ruins deserted, deserted and utterly intact. This, despite the fact that several of Vukadlak's faithful followers survived the Night of Fire and seek to resurrect their lord. This is proof that God favors me above all others. Yeah, sure. Computer use The fall of Visserod Castle from an unknown source. Mitzi conspire against not just the other clans, but against the antediluvians and Cain himself, and against God in an ultimate battle they dare to hope to win. In their monstrous hubris, they see themselves as the true masters of all kindred and of all ancient power. In the last days after the deluge, the ancient Smitsi Vukodlak gathered demonic power by defiling all that was good and pure. He posed a threat to the ancient order of Cainites and was cast into deep torpor. But his loyal Smitsi followers conserved his power for centuries and sought to resurrect their dread lord. Interesting. I like all that little, uh, the 
the flavor text. It's, I, I find it really cool. Sword drains blood from enemies as well. Who's that? Who's that? Ah! You to hell. Hey, look at this dingus using a flamethrower into melee. There's a cavalier of flames. Computer. The fall of Visserad. Nope, don't have data print out one yet. Uh, two yet, I mean. The fall of Visserad Castle. Additions to the original by Brother Maynard of the Arcanum. In the 12th century, Ukudlak's cultists nearly succeeded in raising him from torpor. But the bourgeois Prometheans, led by a Katarina the Wise, crushed his plan and raised Visserad Castle to rubble. The Katarina conspired with the mortals of Prague, who had suffered the depredations of Ukudlak's followers. The mortals aided the Prometheans in the short term, but in the long run, the kindred suffered. Ekaterina's act built up mortal opposition to vampires, which would soon culminate in the Inquisition. Fascinating. <gasps> I can't wait to get away. They'll burn like tea. The fall of Visserad Castle. Thank you, Boris Carlo. Further traditions to the original by Father Leo Alatius. Visserad Castle was once the heart of a pitched battle between humans and kindred scum. It marks the first time in recorded history that humans have successfully overthrown the bloodsuckers. They were burned, pulled from their havens, and left to bake in the sun. They call it the night the very demons shook the walls of the city, spewing flame and death. Those brave humans are our spiritual forefathers, because they started the Inquisition and burned countless vampires. Of course, there was a lot of collateral damage, but that's unavoidable. Though we call ourselves the Society of Leopold, I prefer the name Inquisition. It strikes fear. Quite. <clears throat> what followed was centuries of hiding, which the vampires call the Masquerade. They went underground and tried to build a coalition. Fortunately, they split on policy. Two sects arose, the Camarilla and the Sabbat. The Sabbat sought to regain their domination over the kind and spurned the masquerade adopted by the Camarilla. I trace this fracture in the vampire world to this event. Therefore, I must uncover the legendary Visserad Castle. Who knows what wonders it holds? Oh, a lot. Like me. Well, Kristoff. And I guess for the duration of the game, I technically am Kristoff, but... I can't wait to get a hold of this guy. Who's that? They'll burn my teeth. Ha! You feel your unlike... You like fire, do ya?
nothing that interesting in here. There's a, 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 a Christoph, Christoph, this way. Ooh, a journal entry three. Right, let's check some of our disciplines that we have. Uh, rich, social, or some of rituals. Uh, these two, but um. That's quite funny. Let me put them on my, uh... Yeah, I think that's a good loadout. <laughs> The Journal of Father Leo Alatius, Society of Leopold, September 1999. Today we begin our excavation of Viserard Castle in earnest. We had better find a lot of valuable artifacts and lore. This is costing me a fortune. Some large carved stones are proving very difficult to break through. <laughs> Being a vampire feels great when you're this powerful. And when you're cheating, of course. isn't it? None of you have what it takes to fight a vampire. Yet that's the job you decide to go into as vampire hunting. Journal of Father Leo Ignatius, Society of Leopold, October 
October 1999. Damn! The Zamitsi drove us off my excavation! Killed half my men! We barely got away with the artifacts we uncovered. I cannot believe the Lord allowed this travesty! Briar insists that the large carved stones over the ruins were protective blessings placed after the fall of Viserard Castle by persons unknown. He maintains that the Zemitsi could freely pillage the ruins once we broke through the wards. I dislike his holier-than-thou attitude and don't miss him very much, though he was useful in finding the site of the ruin. I think he may have killed Fri Friar Ignatius. Just, just a hint. Just a little hunch, that one. Who's that? Oh, no. ah! right Ancient vampire still sleeping in deep torpor. That's us. He's a blaspheming heretic who wears the red cross of a crusader to mark all that is holy. I'll enjoy tormenting such an evil creature. I've shipped him to my estate where I'll bind him, fatten him on fresh plasma. Then, engorged on his blood, I will hunt down the Zamitsi who dare to steal artifacts that were rightfully mine. I know little about them, except that they have excavated a tremendous amount of earth from the site and shipped it to London. And from there, I think, to New York, the diabolical home of the Sabbat. They must be setting up a large operation to need so much earth from their homeland. So your plan is to diablerize Christoph Romulo. You know you're just gonna make yourself my ghoul at that point, right? Special baton? We'll take a look at it, sure. Your touch. Argent baton. Extra damage to lupines, not human only. Fancy, fancy. Oh, let's find this uh, Alicious and uh, see how much he wants our blood. After, I mean, let's give him a bit of our blood, see, see how it works. He'll be really happy to know his vampire has woken up. They'll burn like tinder. I see Father Alacious there, and before we go up and actually see him, we're gonna circle around and explore a little more of this estate. Father Leo Alacius, 
And I have killed bloodsuckers like you for two hundred years. I have no wish to fight thee. Then give up your blood without a fight. It will make a tasty addition to my collection. Early generation kindred. Vintage 12th century. 1140. A good decade for Vitae. I wish only to leave this place. But I will kill thee if I must. Your time is dead, boy. You can never fit into this world. You have no one. You are nothing. Let us deliver you from this alien land of eternal loneliness and pain. Good reasoning. I did not endure for 800 years to die at thy behest. Oh. You're, good. You're not gonna like what happens here, dude. You wanted my blood? I'm gonna take I yours. I can draw no precious blood here. We can't? We can't? Hmm. Boom! Oh. 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 <laughs> you thought you could deal, you could, thought you could face Kristoff around the old. Silly. <clears throat> From the journal of Father Leo Alatius, Society of Leopold. These damned Zemitsi are proving very hard to find, since they hired the criminal Giovanni to make their shipments untraceable. Still, once the blood of my sleeping vampire courses through my veins, I'll find them and crush the sleeping Vukodlak. You're not kidding. Then, with the blood of Vukodlak in my veins, I'll be able to destroy all vampires. Of course, I don't mean all vampires. I'll require a well-maintained flock of imprisoned vampires to keep me supplied with blood. And I'll have to crush all the other vampire slayers lest they destroy my flock. Then I'll have life eternal without succumbing to the curse of Cain. This will take time, but I have all the time in the world. My first 300 years of life will soon seem like nothing more than a prelude to my holy domination of the earth. Tomorrow we try to feed the vampire without awakening him. Well, that didn't work. Also, this guy is fucking crazy. That's always good to know. Absolutely out of his gourd. And the source of the shipments. How do I leave? We on the, something on the ground floor. Guys, your boss is dead. You can give up now. Who's that? Ah, the abyss with you. thrown down. Surely my sleep hath made me mad, for if I'm yet sane, then the world has become a lunatic asylum. Towers of glass loom over the tallest cathedral spires. Juggernauts of steel hurtle through the streets of London. The cobbled Roman roads which once I walked as a young crusader are now fused into a single ribbon of black stone. And those roads are clogged with night-walking Londoners, heedless of the danger from the vampires among them. Are they so emboldened by the phantom torches, which pierce the night and stab my eyes? Surely my world has died, and all I love lies buried with it. About, that's about right, yeah? 
Well, we're in West London. I like the music. My garments have moldered away with age, as my body would have, were I not one of the damned. I cannot wander the streets clad thus. I have need of suitable garments. Boy, you need a lot more than some new clothes, you freak. You need to hand over your wallet. I know not thy language, but thy intent is clear from the mask that obscures thy eyes. Thou art a common cut purse. What? What's this about a purse? Shut up and give me your money. I shall give thee my blade instead. Yeah, are you crazy? I need your clothes, your boots, and your motorcycle. Oh, uh, please don't hurt me. Uh, take my gym bag, please. You, you need clothes, right? I got clothes, so you take them. Just don't hurt me. I thank thee for this gift. Go forth and steal no more. Uh, right. Okay, I'm gone. Well, that's uh, modern day Christoph Romuald in a nice getup. Very nice getup. Simple gray shirt and black pants. But let's see if we can find a shop, uh, sell what, uh, sell the stuff we got lying around. And call it a video. Club Tenebrae. It's got a nice beat to it. Otto's van. That looks interesting. What? What do you want? This isn't suspicious at all. Here, take uh, take my stuff. I uh. I need cash. All of this stuff. Buy this, please. All my stuff. Yeah. Tidy paycheck at the end of this. Keep the baton around. Someone might need it. There you go. Uh, Force clothing. Take this. Take a leather jacket. Selling some weird medieval weapons. Cool. <laughs> get lost. You get lost. I'm gonna put this on. Ooh, we got a nice leather. Oh, it's a coat. That's cool. Enhancing goggles don't make anything brighter. Lovely. Now that we look like uh, fucking Connor McCloud, actually probably that's ex probably exactly where they were going for. Let's, uh, let's get back to West London and go into that club Tenebrae, talk to some people, and call it a video.
London by night. And Leopold, pretty accurate London, actually. And I can move quickly. Bulbies. Club Tenebrae. Not quite the asylum, but... We have a wide selection of Vitae for your dining pleasure. We have blue-collar brews, white-collar cocktails, and pink-collar daiquiris. We've got young blood, old blood, tainted blood, and blue blood. We've got innocence, we've got experience. Uptown, downtown, Park Avenue matrons, and Bowery wine. Our special of the day is a succulent, free-range virgin, fresh off the bus from Iowa, free of additives and preservatives. You'll find it a tart blend with a crisp and refreshing afterbite. Charming. <laughs> he just sells blood. Cool. Who are you? Pink. Bottoms up. Ah. Blood's a bit diluted here, eh? What, you fresh out of the grave? Newly embraced? You look it, with that deer in the headlights look pasted on your gob. Do not presume to mock me, whelp. I am far older than thou knowest, and have no patience for the likes of thee. Well, well, well. Oi, barkeep! Get this antique bloodsucker a swig of vitae, courtesy of pink of Clan Brugia. Don't water it down, you mortal worm. This'll put some color back in your cheeks. Air of the bat that bit you. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> thou art Brugia? Art thou a Promethean? <laughs> you must be a fossil. The Prometheans are ancient history. Those nutters are long dead, along with their utopian ideals. <laughs> what a load of bat shit that was. What's your name, you crusty old relic? Forgive me, I am Christoph Romuald. Oh, Christoph Romuald. Christoph Romuald, once of the Order of the Sword Brethren, once a Promethean Brugia, and now, now I know not what. Weary, alone, and damned. Damned, I can't help. But no one is alone with old Pink around. Ah, cool. Especially not a fella Brugia. Now here's to Christoph, the last of the Prometheans. Welcome to the new world, Squire. Hope you like what we've done with the place. So, where will you be creating your Promethean paradise on Earth, Squire? All I wanted was to be with my Ineska. <laughs> A bit of crumpet, eh? I've heard of worse paradises, no mistake. But Feranesco was taken as ghoul by that Zemitsi monster Vukudlak. After such horror ah, she's dancing. As I have endured. After losing so much. Spazzing a bit. I awake to find I have finally lost all. For I have lost her. Yeah, not so fast, Squire. There's two ways your bird might be around. Ghouls can live as long as us legs. Of course, you need a constant supply of some seed blood, or she'll fall apart faster than Thatcher's reforms. <laughs> and if one of them fiends but embraced hardly. her, she'd be around today as one of us. Well, as a Zumitsi. Thou dost compound my misery. I dare not hope such a thing. It would be a curse if Farinesca lived in such a state for a thousand years. Take it from old Pink. Anything's better than the quiet of the grave. There's hope even for us licks. We can climb the path to the summit. Or, or some such. Thou art on the road of humanitas? Um, something like that. Thou speakest true. Should Ineska have been preserved for lo these many centuries, I shall seek after her. Whether she is ghoul to that monster, Vukudlak, or one of his vampires, I shall find her. Find her and destroy him. He will pay in angry blood. 
And if I find only her grave, I shall... I shall be exceedingly glad for her soul. Rare thing, such passion in licks. Bloodless pack of cowards these days. Tell you what, I'll help you find this bird and Esca. I hate the Zumitsis too. I could enjoy sinking me fangs into a fiend or two. My Lord Pink, thou art honorable. I accept thy kindly offer. You need me to tell you what's what. The camera really have a million little rules. Wipe yourself with the wrong hand, and these licks will call down the Justicars on you. What? Nothing. Just a joke. Thou art unlike the vampires of my world, for most only assisted me for their personal gain. <laughs> well, what's left of us, Bruja, gotta stick together. Even if you are a moldy old fossil. So, where did you last see this bird of yours? <laughs> I last beheld Anezka before the collapse of the Zemitsi stronghold in Prague. I have since learned that the Zemitsi have traveled from thence to London, and by sea to a land west of London called New York. Perhaps this New York lies within Ireland. <laughs> no, ever since the famine, Ireland lies within New York! <laughs> <laughs> You're confusing the fuck out of Crystal. There are isles west of Ireland? <laughs> uh, yeah, something like that. Little place called America. The United States thereof. United States. An auspicious name. For I wish my own state reunited. Oh, you're breaking my heart. Perhaps in New York shall we find a criminal named Giovanni. Giovanni? They ain't one guy. They're a whole clan. A whole clan of criminals. They snacked on old Cappadocius and sucked down all his juice. The entire Cappadocian clan is Including gone. Including Serrano. And the Giovanni and Garibald. Hmm. I'm not surprised. The Cappadocian clan seemed oddly gullible and ripe for domination by schemers even in my day. What became of the Brugia? <laughs> what hasn't? The Brugia are all kissed and made up with the Ventru now. In one big happy family called the Camarilla. <laughs> the Toreador, the Gangrel, the Nosferatu, the Looney Malkavians, even the Tremere are bosom buddies. Bullshit. The fear of Gehenna, mostly. Our real enemy is the Sabbat. Made up of the Sumitsi, the Masambra, and a pack of the most vicious licks in the world. I don't care for the snobs of the Camarilla any more than the next lick. But I don't want to dig my way out of a bloody grave. That's what the Sabbat do to you. Beat you to the brink of death, then bury you. When you start starving, you claw your way to the surface. The madness killing any bit of humanity in you. So I work with the Camarilla against the Sabbat. My past is dead, and I am no longer a pawn servicing the whims of the elders in their jihad. It ain't good to be alone out there. It helps to have a gang at your back. Especially if you want to find this Aneska. When can they stop talking so I can the end the video? Body, but I can help you find out about any bootleg shipping. The filthy Setites run all the bootleg shipping in London. I know a Setite knocking shop on the East End. Now let's put the boot into some snakes, but watch yourself. The Setites are a real bad seed. Knocking shop? <laughs> I know you had them in your day, Chris. Even a geezer like you can't be older than the world's oldest profession. <laughs> now come on, we're gonna need some supplies. You can sell some of that old junk and get some real weapons. We require an armorer and an alchemist. And uh, something like that. We, he just skipped the whole line about auto. Anyway, uh, here you go, Pink. Here's a beating stick. There's an Argent Baton. Have fun. And we'll go and level this guy up and get him some uh, a nice leather jacket like we got next time. Well, well, welcome to the Modern Knights, and I'll see you all next time. Happy Halloween. Hi. Thanks for watching. This has been played and recorded by me, Merrick D'Amato. The art was by Rafael Agrona. You can find a link to their commission page in the description below. And if you, li if you like this video and want to see more like it, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and see you all next time. Ciao!